As designers, real-time ray tracing is a useful feature to speed up our workflow, make quick adjustments, and bring our ideas to life as quickly as possible. However, it usually requires a decent spec PC because it involves complex calculations and requires a significant amount of processing power to generate realistic lighting effects in real time. So in this video, we'll be discussing the essential components, including graphics card, CPU, RAM, and power supply, and the minimum, recommended, and optimal requirements for each one to help you make informed decisions when upgrading hardware. Hi, this is D5 Render, here we redefine visual storytelling workflow with real-time rendering. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Let's start with the graphics card. The graphics card is an essential component for architects, as it is responsible for rendering high-quality images and animations. To run D5 Render smoothly, you'll need a GPU that has a minimum of 6 GB. However, for better performance, we recommend getting a graphics card with at least 12 GB. For the best performance, we recommend getting a graphics card with at least 16 GB. With a better GPU, you can perform real-time ray tracing rendering with D5 Render in the early stages of modeling, which can help with modifying designs and improving efficiency. Real-time modifications and resource arrangements can be easily visualized in D5 Render, significantly improving work efficiency. Next up, let's talk about the CPU. Your CPU plays a significant role in determining the speed and performance of your computer. You may already know that D5 Render seamlessly integrates with popular modeling software such as Rhino, 3DS Max, SketchUp, and many more. A powerful CPU can greatly enhance your experience when using them. For D5 Render, you'll need a CPU with a minimum of 6 cores and 12 threads. For better performance, we recommend getting an Intel Core i5-11400 AMD Ryzen 3 5300G. For the best performance, we recommend getting an Intel Core i9-13900K AMD Ryzen 9 7950X. Moving on to RAM, more RAM generally means better performance and the ability to run more demanding applications. In some cases, if the video memory of your GPU is being fully utilized, your PC will automatically allocate approximately 50% of your RAM as shared GPU memory to complement the video memory. You'll need a minimum of 16 GB of RAM to run D5 Render. However, for smoother performance, we recommend getting at least 32 GB of DDR4 RAM. If you have a larger budget and want the best performance, we recommend getting 128 GB of DDR5 RAM. For RAM, it's better safe than sorry. Last, let's talk about the power supply. When choosing a power supply, you'll want to ensure that it has enough wattage to power all of your components. For the minimum requirement, we recommend a 550-watt power supply. For better performance, we recommend a 750-watt power supply. If you have a high-end setup and want the best performance, we recommend getting a 1,000-watt power supply. All right, if you wonder whether your PC build can handle it, you can simply download D5 Render from the description box below and run the benchmark test. Or, you can check user-submitted benchmark test results for comparisons of different components from the link below. We'd love to hear about your PC build and your experience with D5 Render. Share it in the comments below. D5 Render, together with you, redefines visual storytelling workflow with real-time rendering. Stay tuned!